his mother, his wife, all society, run away from home and took renounce order. And he attained Krishna Prem. And how to attain Krishna Prem? He taught the whole world. What shall I do? Shall I be renounced person? Or I will be householder? Oh, we have heard and we have seen other day the drama of Bharat Maharaj. What he did? Yodustajan Darasuta Suridraj Hedis Pisa Jubaiva Malabat Tatta Jyotam Sloka Lala Sir. Very hard to get rid of wife and small kids when you are young age. You go in here for your job or business, when you fed up and then come back, if your small kids, Papa, I have a candy, candy please. Here is broken language, you forget all your sufferings. So, in young age, to give up young wife and small kids, very hard. And if you too much oil, then very hard. Bharat Maharaj, what did? Give up all these things like a stool and come to do bhajan. We have seen Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, our Gurudev, Param Gurudev, all did the same thing. What shall I do? Oh, no, 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 no. I could not be renounced order. Why not? We have seen in the time of Mahaprabhu, almost all his devotee was householder. Time of Krishna, almost all associates as householder. If I go, then what will be the destiny of my mother? Ahome Pitaro Vriddhav. Oh, who will take care of my old mother and father? Who will take care of my spirit? Who will take care of my young child? I should not go. So when this dilemma is coming in mind to do bhajan, how will do bhajan? This stage called Buddha Vikalpa means a dilemma. Could not fix his what mind what to do, what not to do. To do. Where to live in house, whether I should be renounced or Mantrastha, what should I do? Yes, implicit yes. decision. Decision. Then Taranga Rangini. Bisoy Sangara. Bisoy Sangara means Bisoy means material thing, Sangara means fight. When you are doing bhajan, so so many Bisoy will come to you. Oh, I don't want to take all these things. Sometimes you are fighting with Bishoy, material mundane thing. Sometimes you overcome, sometimes you take over by Bishoy. So it will come when you are doing bhajan, Bishoy Sangara. Taranga Rangini, Niyamak Chama. Niyamak Chama means the two types Niyam Agraha, Niyam Agraha. You have taken somehow. To maintain this rule and regulation, I must chant 16 rounds before my breakfast. You are doing this, you are chanting, your Gurudev came to you or an elevated Vaishnavas. Why oh, should not get up? Why have this rule? How I can give this up? But it mentioned in scripture, if your especially your Gurudev come or any elevated Vaishnav, you have to give up all things quit your all service and please pray, pay him obeisances and serve him, please him, then can do others. Only by their costless mercy, our pure name will dance on our tongue, otherwise not possible. If you know, if you neglecting Gurudev and Vaishnavas and too much attached for your rule and regulation, then it is called Niyam Agraha. Another one, Niyam Agraha. We have taken somehow but could not maintain properly, then called Niyamagraha. So, Niyamakchama, maintaining rule and regulation but unable to do that. So, Niyamakchama. Now, Taranga Rangini, when you are doing bhajan, then during bhajan, so many tests will come in your mind about mundane thing, chanting the Arti Mantra mind go went anywhere else and testing you further that in nine mantras or eight mantras how many mantras you have chanted so far you forgot completely maybe one hour have been passed you don't know what you are doing and where you are you are in this world or anywhere else you forgot completely this stage called 
Taranga Rangini. So when you overcome from this six on earth, then Nishtida Bhakti will come. How will come? Sinatang Sarkatha Krishna, Punna Savana Kirtana, Riddanta Stai Javadani, Vidunoti Srit Satan. So once somebody asked our spiritual grandsire, Srila Bhakti and Sami Maharaj, how we can overcome from this anartha up to much last? Srila Bhakti and Sami Maharaj replied, you listen to Ras Lila, then it will go away very easily. Then how we can reconcile with this law? Sinatang Sakatha Krishna, we have heard from Gurudev other day that what is that we have heard? Why Mahaprabhu came? Samar Paitu Munnata Jalasang Sabhakti Sriyam to want to give the beauty of his own bhakti. Who is Krishna's own kith and king and the Raja Krishna? So I mean Siya Srimati Radhika. So Krishna want to distribute the beauty of Radhika's bhakti. That means Bhavar Lasrati or Manjari Bhav. In the same way we have to explain this slok. Srinatham Sakatha Krishna. You have to listen to Krishna's own katha, Swami's own. Who is Krishna's own? Srimati Radhika is Krishna's own. So what past time took place with Radhika and Krishna, we have to listen to that. Srinatham Sakatha Krishna. Why? Punna Savana Kirtana. It is very auspicious for listening and to do kirtan. Hit karna rasayanam. It will be rasayan, very tasty for ear and heart. Then what will be the result? Hit dantastai javadrani vidhunamati srit satam. And which anarthas we have, then it will wash out by hearing only. Without hearing, we could not enter in this bhakti. So must we have to listen to Harikatha from Srila Gurudev, his lotus leaf, or elevated Vaishnavas, then we can proper achieve Nishtita Bhakti. If Nishtita Bhakti comes, then gradually we will develop, there is no doubt at all. Before Nishtita Bhakti, there are so many stages to fall down. When you come Nishtita Bhakti, then if you in good association, one will get up all these stages very quick. None can stop you, but only one condition, do not any question of Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. After this, no tapara, no after that dhorbana, no other any of people. But it's still some another there. Loy, bhikshe, patipati, kasai, and after that also, ek desh bhaktani, we will gradually explain all these things. So we will have to get so many stages. <laughs> Chris Prem is not so easy, especially Braj Gopi Bhav. Anyone have to, or oh, thousands and thousands of bus, we have passed. And then in this stage you have come that you are hearing Harikatha. And if you will miss everything. And if you are really following, then gradually. So we will explain all these things. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been told. Kathai Masti. Kathita Mahi Asam. Pitaya Lokesu. Jasa Pari Yusam, Vigyan Vairag Vibhikshe Adivo, Bacho Vibhutir Nato Pad. Tibinot Thakur is telling, Oh, so many kings, like, Oh, Puru, like Uttam Pad, his brother, Priya Brata, Pritho, so many kings, they passed away. Pritho, Purarva, also many powerful kings. <laughs> Sukhdev Goswami is telling that I have explained in this Srimad Bhagavatam. Why? No Paramatma. 
in this no parma. But what is there? Bhairagya Vivikshaya. What became of them? What became of them? They could not be happy. We have heard about Puranjan Upakhyan. He was not satisfied with his wife and children and kingdom and how he was cheated. We know so many stories. Prachin Varhi, Narada is teaching him. So this Upakhyan has been told that you should you realize and barrier detach, detachment from worldly sense gratification should come. If you are hearing Harikatha, chanting name, doing all the devotional activity, if Barak is not coming, then fuck it. So we should read all these things only for this and tenth canto especially. We are Pathar speak. First, make ground level. And then here, so we will try to explain Hari Katha, Krishna Katha from and control. In the next three days, here, one day, past Anathana Vritti. Only Anathana Vritti we have done. And from tomorrow, we will try to discuss about Krishna past France. Go Premanande! No Dana place today? One? Oh, I cannot stay. Right. God bless you. Stay to you. This war in drama. I should prepare at once to begin the drama. Today the devotees have received initiation. Srila uh, Gurudev will now announce your spiritual name. If we ask you, if we announce your name, please stand up. Today receiving Diksha Vasudan Das Prabhu. Please stand up, Vasudan Das. Okay, receiving Harinam Nimai Lurandas. Please stand up, Nimai. Lalini. Lalini Kumar. Lalini Devi Ki Receiving Diksha Latika Devi Dasi. Latika Devi Dasi Ki Receiving Harinam, Alisa Blake. Achut Priya Devi Ki Receiving Harinam, Adriana Cotton. Anandamai Devi Ki Receiving Harinam, Rebecca Hopkinson. Revati Devi Ki Receiving Diksha from Washington, Taruni Devi Dasi. Taruni Devi Dasi. Receiving Harinam from Los Angeles, Angel Sandoval. Haribo! Akhilesh Prabhu Ki Jai. Receiving Diksha from Hawaii, Jayanti Devi Dasi. Janti Devi Dasi Ki Jai. Receiving Harina, also from Hawaii, Eric Sawyer. Shyam, Shyam Dasi Ki Jai. Receiving Diksha, very nice devotee, Rishi Kumar Das Prabhu. Rishi Kumar Das Prabhu Ki Jai. 
also receiving Diksha first by telephone in North Carolina and now she has come here. Manju Dasi, Manju Devi Dasi. Manju Devi Dasi ki. Receiving Harina Veronica Matsnin. Manju Devi ki jai. Receiving another name, Raksha Dasi. Please, where is Raksha? Diksha also receiving Diksha today. Come. Devi ki jai. Receiving Gopal Mantra, Sudevi Dasi. Sudevi Dasi ki jai. She also has donated her dreadlocks to Guru Dev. <laughs> and her little son has received a new name. Royal, where is your son? Royal. His name is... Radharaman Daski. Last one to receive Haridam today, Elizabeth Bala from Hawaii. Just one more quick announcement before the drama begins. Yesterday we announced about the CDs of the kirtans which have been recorded by Gaur Sundar Prabhu. And uh, actually we had about 30 copies yesterday which all sold out. But today Aniruddha Prabhu came from Honolulu with more than 100 copies. So these are, these are MP3 recordings of Gaur Sundar Prabhu's very sweet kirtans. 45 minutes of bhajans that were like professionally level recorded at a, at a live festival and they're very very wonderful for listening to when you're driving and going anywhere. Not a nice Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and like that. Right so they'll be available there and we're just asking everyone for if they can give a $10 donation or whatever you can give. All the proceeds are going directly for Gaur Sundar Prabhu's medical expenses. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Last night I lost my cell phone. If anyone found it, it's a Motorola um, V551 and um, it has it in a black case and has my name, uh, Robert Cooper, in it. And uh, no, I had it on silent. <laughs> so if anyone finds it, please return to me. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. <laughs> I have requested by Sripad Gopavindavar Prabhu ask me to announce tomorrow Sri Gurudev will come here at 9.30 a.m. plus minus 15 minutes. So tomorrow Sri Gurudev will arrive here 9.30 a.m. So I'm requesting you all, whoever wants to participate in the Vasudya festival, they can arrive here before 9.30 or 9.30 a.m. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. just announced about tomorrow's program. As we, most of the devotees know, that we, uh, Vaishnavas who have come here from all over the world, uh, have the most auspicious opportunity to be present with our beloved Srila Gurudev on his divine, transcendental Vyas Puja day, his appearance day, which comes tomorrow. Tomorrow we are holding this grand festival in his divine honor. Hari Hari Bo! 
and we will, as uh, Madam Maharaj told, the festivities will begin at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. So everyone should be here promptly. Hare Krishna. a drama entitled Meeting in the Dress of Abhimanyu from Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Kapoor's collection of enchanting pastimes, Chatamakara Chandrika. May Sri Krishna Chaitanya, by whose mercy one becomes thirsty after touching the ocean of Radha Girihari's astonishing mellow pastimes, protect us from the dangers of our offenses, giving us hope for even a drop of that ocean with his merciful glances. Once, Srimati Radharadika made a vow to take her morning baths in the Yamuna River during the month of Ma, January and February. This vow made her mother-in-law, Jatila, and her sister-in-law, Jatila, very suspicious. One morning, when Radhika left the house, Kutila went to Nanda Maharaj's village to see if Krishna has also taken such a vow. Oh, Ma, have you by any chance heard of Krishna's vow to take his morning bath at the Jamuna River? Yes, my child. In fact, he he has done this on the order of his mother Yashoda. In fact, he is at the Jumuna right now. I knew it. How dare that rascal Krishna think he can enjoy with my brother's wife and get away with it. I must do something. I'll follow his footprints and I will find him and Radhika while they are playing and catch them red-handed. Tulsi Manjari was standing outside of the gate of the Kun when she saw Kutila coming. Dear friends, Kutila is on her way to see you. She's come out of Raj. She's on her way to see you. When I saw her, she was in the Chantikar forest. She must be quite close by now. Oh, ladies. Do not worry about this seeming difficulty. You just sit here in this beautiful Kadamba Kunj and watch the enchanting sunrise. I am going to dress like Abhimanyu to cheat Kutila. It'll be so much fun. Yes, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Krishna left the corn and went to a secluded place where Brinda Devi, the forest goddess, handed him all the items for dressing up like Abhimanyu. Krishna removed his peacock feather and chada and concealed his flute. Then he stood on the path on which Kutila was walking and spoke in a voice imitating Abhimanyu. Why have you left Brudge? It's such a surprise to see you here. I came to look for your wife. Wife? Where do you think she is? She comes nearby to take her morning bath. <laughs> really? Hmm. And where do you think that woman thief Krishna is? He also comes nearby to take his morning bath. <laughs> hmm. I'm here because one of my young bulls ran away this morning when I tried to put him under the plow. I don't mind losing one young bull, but I cannot tolerate the pain of knowing that that rascal 
Krishna is going around with my wife. Oh, I have to think of something. Hmm. Listen to my plan. I will hide in this nearby Kunj. You go and quickly look for Radhika. If you find her, and if she's alone, bring her here. <laughs> oh, good healer. Have you come here to take bath? No, I have not come here to take bath. Actually. Then, why are you here? Discover your secret activities. Really? Is that so? And to what conclusion have you come? Please, do tell. What do I have to say? Hari's fragrance is all over the place. Oh, no. If there is a smell of a lion, there must be one out there somewhere. Oh, Kutila, we are very young, weak girls and are always afraid. Oh, Kutila, we must go to our homes immediately. You have shown me such affection by coming here to warn me. Thank you ever so much. Lolita, you pious girl. Open the gates to this Kadamba Kunj. I want to see what is inside. Oh, a forest goddess lives here. And she just left, locking her door with arrow-like pins. What do you know? <laughs> Which unpious woman will come and barge into her home? Lalita, you have so much pious merit that you have come here and you are going to stay here and earn pious merit day and night. Let's see if you stay here or return home. What are you going to do? Tila, why are you so angry? That is not my necklace. There's no need to, I swear on my, on your brother, that is not my necklace. There's no need to be so angry. You know, you should really go home now. Yeah, if you don't, I am going to go home and I'm going to tell Mother and Hornamasi Devi what I have found. Broken garland and your necklace. Go ahead, do whatever you want. You can go from house to house and you can show everybody that necklace. It's not mine, so I don't care. <laughs> Kutila left the Kunj very angrily and went to Krishna, whom she thought was Abhimanyu. what I have found. Krishna's garland and Radharani's necklace in a kunj. And Radharani was there with all of her friends. But Krishna, he wasn't there. <coughs> hmm. Very well. That broken garland and that broken necklace it's going to be evidence in the court of King Kamsa in Matura. But if I go there, and I tell them of Krishna's bad activities, it wouldn't be so good. Because it's improper to defame one's own family in public. I know. I will go to Goradan Mala and tell him, friend, I know something that you would like to know. That rascal womanizer Krishna has taken your wife Tindravali to a secluded kunj and spoiled with her there. 
I have evidence of this because there goes her broken garland and his broken necklace. Go to the King Kamsa in Matura and tell him to send a hundred soldiers and ten horsemen to go and bind up Nanda and Krishna in Nanda Maharaj's village. After I do this, I will return home before noon because the soldiers will probably come at noon. Go home to Mother Jatila now. Quickly, go. After saying this, Krishna headed in the southern direction towards Mathura, while Radhika and her Shaktis went to Jatila's house. Three hours later, Krishna, still disguised as Abhimanyu, came to Jatila's house. Mother! Jatila! Oh, Jatila! Come quickly! Come, come, come! I have some important news to tell you. Govardhan Mala has went to King Kamsa's court in Mathura, and they're coming with ten horsemen and a hundred soldiers to bind up Nanda and Krishna. Okay, but this rascal thief Krishna, he's also coming to our house dressed up like me. So what you have to do is go up on the roof and watch out for him, okay? I'm gonna stay here downstairs with my beautiful wife Radharani because she's mine and no one else's. <laughs> close the gate, close the gate, close the gate. I'm gonna go downstairs, go, go, go. they saw that oh he was Abhimanyu not Krishna. So there are so many past times put two in the Javad crown. So my blessings to all good drama. Go Prima. Oh, 